All right, kids, alignment 101. Here we go. So, got to align your mid shaft first. Once you got that aligned, then you got to align your motor. So, very important everything's in a line. Or you risk stripping mid shaft splines, pump shaft splines, or ripping up couplers. So, we made these cool uh, undermount shims so you can get closer. So we ended up going with some uh, three mil ones so we could use shims on the top and get, get it really perfect. So we ended up going with pink. Look at that. Just add a little color. So, so the spec from Yamaha is three mil. So two of these is three mil together in between the couplers. So we'll use that to check spacing. So get a light. So we're gonna slip this in up top. like a just feel the slide same thing on the sides this is a little tight but it's close get it rough to start with just by kind of eyeballing it using your fingers run your fingers over the surfaces uh, you know you can rotate one. Make sure everything's flat. Here on the bottom, on the side, you can use, you can actually rotate the motor side to side to adjust the angles. And um, you can use shims underneath the motor mounts as well. So we got, we ended up going with half a mil there and half a mil on this side. And we're really close. So. We're gonna get we're gonna get these guys together and uh, I'm actually working on a tool to do this easier that's already three mils so that's we'll add one more make this a little bit more complicated so we just want that to be able to slip in nice and easy on all four sides. And on the bottom too. So it's really close, really close here. So then we're going to take a straight edge, so I'll use the straight side of one of these thick ones, and we're going to check that. So you're going to put it on one side, see, see how that's flat across, there's no gaps, do it on the top as well, and then do it on this side. Make sure that it's flat across the whole thing. and so. You can also check it on the bottom. So basically ensure once we put the coupler in there, everything is squared up. It looks good. It's level not only up and down and side to side, but also angularly as well. So you need to make, you need to check the angular and that's what we do when we slip it in. And then we're also checking the radial with the straight edge. You can also use a dial indicator, but that's a little more complicated of a process. So hit me up if you need some shims. We can print them custom thickness, and then and then you retain your ability to to adjust for radial alignment with the beds because they actually slide and rock back and forth. And I'll show you that. Um, once you shim up over like two millimeters, you start losing adjustability in your motor mounts and you may have to um, ream these holes out, hog them out, wall them out, however you want to call it. So you can actually, if you watch, you can see we actually have a lot of ability to adjust the whole thing side to side. But once you start going up, these bolts start catching and so you lose that adjustability and then you got to start hacking shit. So we're trying not to do that. 
we don't want to hack it. So there it is. Make sure you get a bunch of shims. You can hit up show, Showtime, Showtime Freestyle for some shims. He sells shim packs and uh, come with a bunch of different sizes, get you close. And uh, hit me up for some, we can make them in colors too. Nice pink colors, bright colors. And uh, we'll get you guys aligned and hopefully save you some money because it's going to cost a lot of money to replace uh, pump shaft splines and mid shaft splines and couplers. Uh, so there we go.